and you have the information and you criticize, oh, let's have a debate. I'm not even going to start a debate with anybody who hasn't actually seen it. I thought the movie was really good and very well made. It's not my kind of film because it felt very cheesy. Now, it is very well made cheesy. It's very well made cheesy. So I, I watched it. I watched it. Something that some people haven't done. So obviously, because I, I saw a few of the replies from my thing of saying don't boycott and how boycotting is unwise. A lot of people say you're a loser, sellout, how could you, and so forth. And the people saying this stuff haven't seen the film. You see, for me, that's what gets me about people. See, if you've seen it and you have that beef, boom. It's how people say you can't criticize something if you haven't seen it. And sometimes I've been guilty that way, like, all my hands up. I can't come and criticize this thing, even if I know what it may be. Whatever I think it may be, if I haven't seen it or read the script, I'm coming of a, of a place of lack of information, <laughs> you know? So, haven't, having seen the film, I am now coming with this review with information now. And there's a little bit to unpack here. I may have to do a part two, so this is just a raw reaction. Hollywood. Hollywood. That's what it's about. It's about telling a story that sells. And I view this, for me, I think, for me, I think the, the weakest part of this film, and I think most people agree, is the script. That's the weakest part of this film. The story is okay, and the script, it's, it's walkable. But for me, I think the direction and the, um, the, the, the direction and the um, acting is what truly ele elevates this, you know, because I want to get the name of the um, director because she did love on basketball, man. Um, because, you see, you have to come from a place of knowledge. You have to come from a place of knowledge. Okay, cool. Gina Prince Bythewood. For me, off of the, off the bat, is a very well-directed film because I'm going to get to the main issue because we'll, we'll get there. But just off the bat, it's a very well-made film. So Gina Prince um, Bythewood, I was like, wow, for 40 mil, this is extremely well directed. And just the way it's put together, the battle scene, the choreography of the battle scenes, just I'm like, no, no, this is very well done. This is a very well put together film. Like nothing seems cheap. Nothing seems like that. I'm like, oh, this seems very well put together. So shout out to her, man. Um, the the acting for me was super. Literally, every one of the actors from the principal cast was amazing. And people are not talking about John Boyega. Because obviously, obviously, we'll get to the main ones, but John Boyega, because I think, look, whenever Americans try to do African accents, you can see them come in and out. I think the best American who did the best African accents I can remember was probably Forrest Whitaker, who did Idi Amin, because he really studied well. And it's Forrest Whitaker. But John Boyega, who is actually Nigerian, because me being Nigerian, I could tell that, okay, this is real. Because he got all those intonations, all those nuances that you can only get if you truly are Nigerian, you really get it. And I thought that he did really good, and I think he was the most authentic. So I think when you're African, specifically when you're Nigerian, you're like, oh, you know, yeah, he has it. The other guys, okay, mm. with the other ones, okay, cool, it's good enough, I can walk with it. Similar to Black Panther, okay, I can walk with this. You know, but with John Boyega, I'm like, oh, wow, it's just... This is like music to my ears because this is exactly how they sound. Vala Davis, superb. It's, it's, it's Vala Davis. Like, the way that she can get into the different emotions, how she can portray emotions, how she was able to sell this character, the character actor that goes through, she was superb. Absolutely amazing. Um, Lashana Lynch, really good. Really, really good because she's sort of like the strong but kind of like slightly comedic character but not totally comic relief. And just the way that she portrays a character, amazing. Um, I thought also um, Sheila Atim, very, very tall actress. I thought she was really good because she, her and Avala Davis have a lot of scenes because they're both friends. I thought she was really good because she has a really, really good scene because it's a pivotal scene between her and Avala Davis. I thought that's, for me, one of the best scenes in the whole film. And I don't think people will talk about it, but I thought she was really good. But I think everyone is going to say that the breakout star is Tuso um Umbedu. So Tuso Umbedu is obviously from South Africa and quality. She, like, because she is the heart and soul of the film. 
and just how she was able to get the emotions in all of the scenes, how she was able to put together very emotional scenes, and just how she was able to carry the film and carry that character. I thought she was outstanding, absolutely outstanding. And just every, look, everything's quality. Let's talk about it. The script. Here's the thing. I get it. The Dahomey Kingdom, they were involved in the slave trade. And here's the thing. This is what you guys need to know. Oh, so, 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 oh, so God. They mention it. So all you guys say, oh my gosh, they, they ignore it. And so, no, it's mentioned. And it is a pivotal part of the story. <laughs> it is a very key pivotal part of the story. And they mention how the Oyo Kingdom and the Dahomey Kingdom, who John Boyega plays the king, how John Boyega's king wants to remain in the slave trade. Because it is profitable. So it is a pivotal part of the story. And obviously, Vala Davis's character, um, Naniska, she's a fictional character. And that is where the whole Hollywood dramatization comes in, where she is trying to fight against the slavery and say, no, we can't be involved in slavery. We can't be selling our own people. So that's obviously the kind of creators trying to now do um, an opposition to what truly existed, which is that these guys, the, 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 the Dahomey Kingdom, were involved in the slave trade because it was hugely beneficial for them in their trading with the with the Portuguese. So, and that is for me where I think the problem of the story is. Because, okay, I get it. We have to try and sell a story. I want to try and tell a kind of a pivotal story. It's a very uplifting story about these amazing female warriors and the choreography is amazing. But the mistake that the, that the screenwriters made is what you should have done there should have been a conflict within the Agoji people. Because what they've done in the very Hollywood way is the Agoji are... Like, everybody is on board with being against the, 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 the slave trade and they're trying to fight against it. Which just wasn't true. The Domi people, they were obviously the enforcer and the hand of the, of the, of the king. And obviously they'd want to enforce whatever the, the, the king wanted. What you, could, you should have done is there are people of the Dahomey tribe who want to fight to keep the slave trade going... And there are people who want to fight to abolish it. And then you have that conflict between both of those. Who are those that say, no, we have to stick to what, 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 what this is and, and, and what this is about. And the guys say, no, 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 this is wrong. This is wrong. And that's why, obviously, it's dramatization. Probably never happened, but it's whole dramatization. And I think that's where the mistake was made. But my, but my point still stands. Sometimes you need to take a small loss to get a big win. As I was watching that, all I was thinking in my mind was, man. Imagine watching a film like this about the Zulu Empire, about the Egypt, about the ancient Egyptians, about the Abyssinians, about those from Benin, the Benin King Kingdom. Imagine all of the amazing African stories about African kings and queens that we could have on a much larger scale like 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 this. Because that's what because isn't that what it's about? <laughs> it's about let's see more of these kinds of stories. And at the end of the day, the only way that these stories will happen is if if these things are successful. These production companies will be like, okay, oh, this works. This did well. Okay, let's have more of this. If if this doesn't do well, why am I going to invest in this? So if this fails, why would I now invest in a story about the Haitian uprising? Why don't I invest in a story about the thing? So, as I said again, the story could have, could have been done better to better accurately portray the history while also trying to sell dramatization because obviously you're trying to make a story that is trying to sell. And you look at any story in Hollywood in history, None of it is not none of it is accurate. None of this is accurate. None of it is. Like most of the stories, you can't tell it fully accurately because then it's 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 it doesn't have the same kind of impact. Anything, any kind of historical story that, that you've seen, it ain't accurate. You think Braveheart is accurate, Gladiator is accurate. You have there is um there are creative liberties that are put in there to try to make an entertaining story that pleases the, the, the crowd. <laughs> it's what it's what's about, you know. Now there are some movies that are solely about trying to be historically accurate, which I think is close to what Lawrence of Arabia was about, which is why oh, most of the stuff actually happened. But all the stuff we're trying to make a movie here, and I've, and you see, I thought the movie was really good and very well made. It's not my kind of film because it felt very cheesy. Now it is very well made cheesy. It's very well made cheesy, but I'll just think that man. Let's get a more realer, grounded, less cheesy story, other African stories that do exist. You know? But again, it's like you have to you have to be wise. You have to look bigger because at the end of the day, we just want to see more African stories. We want to see more stories 
I want to see more people looking like 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 like, like us. I want to see more of the black men, black women, more people looking like us up on that screen. And that's what it's about. It's all about the bigger picture, man. So that's my view. Those are my thoughts. Um, and for me, as I, and my bottom line is, before you criticize anything, criticize anything, watch it. Then see for me. If you've watched it and you have the information and you criticize, oh, let's have a debate. I'm not even going to start to debate with anybody who hasn't actually seen it because you're coming up a place of misinformation. Because once you've seen it, they can say, oh, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong. But you can't say this is wrong, 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 wrong if you haven't even seen it. Come on, bro.